Hey guys, this is Darren Bowsman, and I'm here at Trailers from Hell, and we are watching one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, the amazing and great Lady in a Cage. Um, before Strangers, before Funny Games, before uh, all these other home invasion movies that kind of made a comeback, this is uh, a an amazing, brutal uh, home invasion film in one of uh, James Caan's uh, first starring roles. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. I'm Olivia de Havilland. You see me in these pleasant surroundings, safe, secure. But am I really? Are you? First off, let's just talk about the trailer itself. I, I think it's such a novel and, and awesome approach, which we've seen mirrored uh, in years to come with, with Last House on the Left and other trailers, where it's basically telling you how intense the movie is. And the majority of the trailer is uh, just Olivia de Havilland here telling you, don't go alone to this movie. It's, uh, it's an extremely intense experience. To her credit, uh, when this movie was released in, in 64, it was a brutal movie. Even now, watching it, uh, some of the things they do and kind of the mean-spiritedness of the whole thing still stands out. It's quite amazing how much this movie still holds up today. One of my favorite genres of, of filmmaking is the, uh, is the whole uh, home invasion movie. And, and this kind of is that in, in, its own, in its own way, that the story basically revolves around Olivia de Havilland, who uh, has a hip surgery and has an elevator installed in her house. And uh, one very hot and sunny day, the electricity goes out and she gets stuck between the third floor and the first floor. And a band of hooligans come into her house and terrorize, murder, have sex. It's, it's all the great stuff you've come to love and expect for these types of movies. But again, it was from the early 60s. And having uh, amazing actors in it uh, portraying this type of stuff. Uh, one one notable uh, performance here, as you could see, is uh, James Caan. This is not his first movie, but his first starring role in a movie. He is brutal, and it's intense. Also, this movie, directed by Walter Grumman, is uh, extremely well shot and stylized. The credit sequence alone is is worth the, the price of rental on this thing. It's a very stylized a very well edited credit sequence which sets up the intensity very 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 early on something else which which I which I loved about it was just the music the the, the score on this in this thing is a fantastic score and it's it never lets up for a second i mean almost on on minute 5 of this thing you you're kind of into this brutal home invasion where they're just tormenting her which again at, at this early of time is is not something you saw a lot in movies this movie falls into a, uh, a little subgenre uh, called Psycho Bitty, which was uh, used to reference when older women were in peril. You know, other movies like this is Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. You have a female lead here, well in her 50s. Usually uh, you, you see the young buxom blonde, the 20 year old, but not in this movie, which kind of again sets it apart. Pay close attention uh, as you're watching this. Even movies like Strangers have borrowed from this. That One of my favorite lines from the, in the recent movie Strangers was, when they ask, why are you invading this house? And the stranger says, because you were here. That almost exact line is taken from one of the characters in this movie saying, why are you here? Why are you doing this? And, and the character says, well, because you guys were home. And it, it's almost an exact line from that. I think that uh, some of the greats have borrowed from this movie. It's, it's a very intense movie that holds up even today.